Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome, man. Welcome to Beyond Classic Rock. Uh, today, I've got a very interesting reaction for you, man. We're gonna check out some really, really nice jazz grooves. And um, we're featuring Steve Reich's uh, Sextet piece from 1985. So uh, it's gonna be a decent uh, half an hour and uh, I'm really looking forward to this, man. So first and foremost, I wanna give a shout out and a thanks to VoiceOver. VoiceOver says, hi Wayne, VoiceOver here with a request for your STB Beyond channel. It's a live performance of Steve Reich's piece, Sextet 1985, in five movements, movements for four percussionists and two keyboard players. It's scored for three marambas, two vibraphones, two bass drums, uh, crotels, sticks, tam-tam, two pianos, and two synths. The duration is about 28 minutes. The style is called minimalism, of which Reich is one of its most famous proponents. Hope you'll enjoy the performance by the Yale Percussion Group. It's brilliant. All the best. Voice over. Right on, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Looking forward to it, man. So, without further ado, let's do this, man. And um, afterwards, what I'll do is... Uh, introduce the artist himself, the composer himself, and then I want to read a little bit of uh, what the fans have to say about it um, in the comments sections of this particular um, link that uh, VoiceOver sent to me. That's really a cool experience to read uh, some of the comments. So let's hit this up. Sex Step by Steve Reich, full performance. Let's get it. Cheers to you. I like it all.
it's as intricate as performing surgery, isn't it?
this would be great in a really nice live venue, kind of like the Commodore Ballroom or somewhere like that. A nice evening out, you know?
Takes a lot of control to be able to keep both um, instruments at the same time going. Two in each hand, hitting the right keys. Performing surgery, man. It really is.
And you know they're gonna have to go take a damn nap after that. Wow, that was incredible, masterful. Music is a blessing. It's a blessing to the soul. And uh, you, um, I firmly believe that um, without music being pleasant or present in the fabric of our existence, we would not live as long. We would ultimately probably cease to exist uh, going that far. But music is definitely one of those mainstays in our fabric that uh, we need, you know, food, water, uh, shelter, music. We need music, man. And it's definitely uh, a blessing. I firmly believe that we would not live as long as we do without the presence of music interwoven into our lives, man. That's a blessing. Music in its many forms. Fantastic, let me tell you. Let's do this. Let's introduce the great composer of this wonderful piece and shout out to the Yale Percussion Group. They're brilliant in their own right. Fantastic. Great execution. I'm sure he's very, very proud of that. So let's take a look at uh, Steve Wright. And then let's check out some of the comments of what the fans are saying. It's very, very interesting. Let's focus on the man for now. Steve Reich. Stephen Michael Reich, born October the 3rd, 1936, is an American composer known for his contribution to the development of minimal music in the mid to late 60s. Reich's work is marked by its use of repetitive figures, slow harmonic rhythm, and canons. His compositional style reflects his explicit rejection of Western classical traditions, serialism, and inter because unlike these traditions, he sought to create music in which a compositional process was discernible in the music itself. Wright describes this concept in his essay, quote, Music as a gradual process by stating, I'm interested in perceptible processes. I want to be able to hear the process happening throughout the sound music, throughout the sounding of the music. To do so, his music employs the technique of phase shifting in which a phrase is slightly altered uh, over time in a flow that is clearly perceptible to the listener. His innovations include using tape loops to create phasing patterns as on the early compositions It's Gonna Rain in 65 and Come Out in 66, and the use of simple audible processes as on Pendulum Music in 68 and Four Organs in 1970. The 1978 recording music for 18 musicians would help entrench minimalism as a movement. Reich's work took on a darker character in the 80s with the intro of historical themes as well as themes from his Jewish heritage, notably Different Trains, released in 1988. Reich's style of composition has influenced many contemporary composers and groups, especially in the U.S., writing in The Guardian, music critic Andrew Clement suggested that Reich is one of a handful of living composers who can legitimately claim to have altered the direction of musical history. Wow. Now there you go. You call that a legacy? There you go, man. Fantastic. Um, let's read what uh, some of the comments are saying uh, from this uh, link that VoiceOver sent us. Not only is this one of the best performances of this piece I've heard, but how on earth did you all memorize it? I have played this piece, so I'm aware of its patterns that repeat 4 times, 7 times, 13 times, 43 times, etc. Playing the piece is difficult enough, which you all make look so easy, but playing it from memory should qualify as an Olympian feat. Absolutely breathtaking. Congrats for all your hard work. Right on. It's a very, very great uh, compliment. Uh, 552 thumbs up and likes and uh, 18 replies and the replies are very very long so i won't get into into the replies what i so much like in reich's music is the interplay between people there's no stars they make music together yeah to the folk at Vic firth who saw fit to record and post this 
but mostly to these performers. What an absolutely sublime and exceptional composition and performance. Over the months, I've played this over and over, and it never fails to move me. Nice. Feel sorry for the guy who had to play two keys for 10 minutes straight. <laughs> Outstanding performance, nevertheless. Yeah, but that guy was in the zone, man. He is just uh, in it, you know? Really, really loving what he's doing, being a part of the collective. This is one of my favorite videos to watch while I'm flying across the country. It perfectly mirrors the experience, hurtling through space at the same time, that it seems nothing is changing, or only interceptibly so. Yeah, you know, I uh, had visions in my mind of movement forms of movement as some of these places are uh, like, you know, visualizing myself going for a long jog uh, slash sprint um, or riding in a car, a nice convertible in a summer day, just going or just activity in general, something like that. And this is the background music for uh, interesting activity, maybe an activity of doing a wall collage painting or something like that, you know? So there's a bunch of things that went through my mind about it. This piece kept me captivated for 25 minutes. Wow, what a great performance. Absolutely. I can't believe I'd never even heard of Steve Reich until today. As someone who doesn't know very much at all about music, it's interesting to see how the performers move between the pianos and the mallet instruments so seamlessly. I've always thought there were quite different things in my mind, but I can see there that they work in sort of similar ways. That they work in sort of similar ways, sorry. I wonder if being really good at the marimba makes you learn the piano much more quickly or vice versa. Interesting. Anyway, thanks for putting this up. I've really enjoyed it. So that's what it's called, the marimba. Um, it's not the xylophone. I guess the xylophone is just a one piece and maybe the marimba is just a more uh, complex piece. Beautiful, beautifully performed and filmed. Totally enjoy the young lady's stage presence and dance like and dance like body language. Really enhances the performance. Yes, yes, she definitely had some really good shui, didn't she? This is an absolutely delightful musical find. Yeah, okay, so nothing but good stuff here, man. Not that I'm looking for bad stuff, but you know, there's trolls all over, especially on YouTube. But yeah, nothing but great stuff here. And um, over 500 comments, man. So uh, definitely very, uh, very impressive. And this um, uh, channel that I'm at, it's called Vic Firth. And uh, it's got over 500,000 subscribers, man. So hey... This is the place to be if you want to check out some very interesting music, I'm sure. Really good, man. That was excellent, I gotta say. And uh, uh, thanks uh, very much, uh, VoiceOver, for sending this to us, man. It's really nice with this platform that we can go in so many dire different directions and enjoy so many different forms of music. It's really, really great, man. Of course, I'm uh, forever going to be an astute student of my classic rock. But this is really, really nice to uh, go in different directions, you know, and I'm glad this platform is up because there's no way, of course, we'd be able to play this on the classic rock platform. But yeah, it's nice to have this uh, so that we can enjoy a very multifarious mix, if you will. So um, let's see what I got coming up. So uh, Charles, Jerry, Randy, Jeffrey um, got some... Uh, some reactions that I got to hit up for you and uh, I've got a couple of new patrons and uh, I believe I've got one more uh, from uh, voiceover coming up soon as well so that'll be um, uh, yeah in a couple of uh, about a week and a half away I would say uh, voiceover if you're checking this out so thanks very much I appreciate this this is really really nice man it's uh, nice to sometimes just take in music and the vibe of it rather than always thinking about vocals and things like that. So it's a really, really nice change of pace, but a very excellent one. So I am out, y'all. Have a good one. Take care. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, so you'll uh, see me tomorrow. Charles's reaction. Peace out.